My name is Chris Dickerson, PDJ number 62467. I'm from Limestone, Tennessee. This is my second year with Prod-G Disc. I want to start out with my distance drivers. I carry two D1s, both are 400G. This one is slightly more overstable than this one. Uh, I can throw this hard in a headwind and it will go straight and it will always fade out. Very dependable. This one I've had quite a while. I think it was in my last in the bag. I've, I've had it at least a year and a half. I got it from Zach Melton and it is a hyzer flip now. It's, it's very reliable in the wind but not, not as reliable to finish left as the other one. Next, I carry three 400G D2s. The first is a fairly new one with um, the Rookie of the Year stamp. It is very overstable. It's, it's going to finish left about every time. The next is another 400G D2. It is a probably my go-to driver. It's a hyzer flip to flat, and if I throw it hard enough, I can get it to turn, and it will reliably fade to the left at the end. My last D2, also 400G, is more, more of a uh, hyzer flip and turn. It'll very rarely fade left at the end. It likes to hold over to the right more times than not. <clears throat> My last distance driver is a 400 D4. I very rarely throw up for air shots. It's mostly just a roller disc that I can put down with a good amount of angle and have it stand up and then curl to the right toward the end of its flight. <clears throat> Next, I have two X1s. Both are 750 plastic. This is a disc that, if there are rocks or anything else near the basket that I think will chunk up another disc, I'll throw this in its place. It's just uh, just something I can beat in, not have to worry about beating anything else. This 750X1 I got from Zach Melton, and it is very overstable. I can throw it into a headwind with turn, It'll hold the turn, flatten out, and then fade. I don't know if it's ever not hazard out on you. So it's a very reliable disc. Next are the hybrids. I have a 750H1. It is still very overstable. I've had it for a while, but I like I like it more for sidearms than backhands. Um, I can throw it with a lot of turn. It will come out of it. And every now and then it will skip, but if you give it enough hot, it will dig more than, more times than not. Next I have a 750H2. This one I throw more for backhands than I do sidearms. I can throw it flat and it'll go straight for a while, but still has a very overstable finish at the end. I have two 400G H3s. This one is very overstable, but not, not as overstable. I can get more glide out of it than I can the 750H2. And it's, it's very dependable to come back left every time. I don't know if if I can throw it very hard without it turning. This 400 GH3 is more beat in. I've had it a little longer and I can throw it flat and get a good S turn out of it before it comes back at the end. It's one of my favorite hybrid discs. I have four fairway drivers. 
first is a 400 F1. This one is pretty beat in. I've had it. I've had it for a very long time. I can throw it with a good amount of hyzer, and it'll flip the flat and go straight for a long time before it finishes. Uh, I also like it for sidearms. It's a very, very smooth sidearm disc. And it's pretty straight for sidearms. It has a reliable finish to the rod. Next is a Signature Series 400 F5. I like to throw it with a fan grip more times than not. And it will hyzer flip the flat, and hold straight, finish left at the end. I have a 400 GF5. It is more understable than the 400 F5. <clears throat> I can throw it with a little bit of hyzer or, or quite a bit if I throw it hard enough and it'll flip the flat and it likes to hold over. It doesn't have very much of a uh, fade on the end, but it's a very, it's a very long flyer if you get the right angle on it. My last fairway is a 400 F7. Like the D4, I don't I don't throw it for air shots very often. Uh, it's a it's a stable roller. I can throw it down with a good amount of angle, and it'll hold straight for a while before it curls to the right. I carry four mid ranges. First is a 750M2. I've had this in here for a while, but it is still overstable. I can throw it with some turn, and it likes to hold straight, and then have a pretty good finish on the end. I like to throw it in uh, more open shots than wooded. <clears throat> I carry this 750M2 for wooded shots. It's more beat in. I can throw it if I were to throw it with the same amount of turn as that one, it would hold over before it comes back. It wouldn't just hold straight. So it's this one's a better wood, wooded disc for me. I have a 400G M3. Um, these were just put in production not too long ago. They're very, very straight flyers. You can throw them flat. And they will get some turn out of them and if you give them enough hot they may come back at the end but I like I like them for very straight shots you can, I can throw them with hyzer they'll flip the flat and they will hold flat and very rarely will they finish left I carry a 400G M4 I never throw this backhand I only throw it for sidearms it's a very clean release because of the, uh, the profile of the disc. It comes out with uh, quite a bit of hyzer and it'll flip to flat, fly straight, and fade at the end. It has been one of my favorite sidearm discs since it has came out. I have five throwing putters. I'll start off with the PA1s. I have a 750 PA1. It is a very overstable putt and approach disc. Uh, it's very similar to my M2, just, uh, just on a smaller scale. I can throw it with turn and it'll hold straight and then have a pretty good fade on the end. Next, I have a 300 PA1. It is very, very beat in. I can throw it on a bit of a hyzer, and it'll flip the flat, and it'll slowly fade to the right. This is another disc that will very rarely hyzer out at the end. I carry three PA3s. One is a 300. It's a hyzer flip, like the PA1, but I can throw it on more of a hyzer and it'll flip the flat and it'll hold over for a lot longer than the PA1. 
I carry a 400 Glow PA3. It is very, very beat in, very seasoned. I can throw this one flat and it will go dead straight for a very long time before it gently hyzers out at the end. There is not much fade on this disc because of how beat in it is. However, this 400 PA3 is fairly new. I can actually throw it with a little bit of turn and it will fight its way out of it, go straight, and hyzer at the end. The 400 PA3 is probably my favorite throwing putter. <clears throat> Lastly for throwing putters, I have a 400 PA4. This is still the oldest disc in my bag. I've had it for over a couple years. It's very, very beat in. I can throw it with a lot of hyzer and get it to flip to flat and then hold over to the right. It's a, it's a very reliable disc for hyzer flips. <clears throat> Lastly are my putting putters. Both are 300 PA3s. I like them because they have a slightly overstable finish. Not, not a lot, but they tend to putt straight and fade just a tad at the end. Um, this one's been in my bag for a very long time, and it's my go-to putter, but I recently put this, this uh, 300 PA3 in in hopes that it will uh, one day replace this one. I don't know when that will be, but hopefully it's not very soon. <laughs>